Well, today is the final day of Prince William's historic trip to Israel. Wrapping up the journey, the Duke of Cambridge visited the holy city of Jerusalem, where he overlooked the Mount of Olives and, of course, prayed for peace at the sacred Western Wall. He was even welcomed and allowed to enter the Dome of the Rock, a sacred Muslim site on the Temple Mount where non-Muslims are typically not allowed. This concludes a very memorable trip for Prince William. To date, this is the first official state visit by a member of British royalty to the region in nearly 70 years. Needless to say, the trip was more than welcome. Prince William also made a personal visit while in Jerusalem. He took time to visit the grave of his great-grandmother, Princess Alice of Battenberg, who is buried at the Church of St. Mary Magdalene. But we'd be remiss if we didn't mention our personal favorite highlight of the journey, a powwow with Israel's Eurovision champ, Neta Barzilai. Spectators jammed the streets trying to catch a glimpse of these two together yesterday afternoon. Though the UK scheduled the trip to be specifically non-political, certain details along the way may suggest otherwise. Yesterday, while meeting with Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas in the West Bank, Prince William seemingly recognized the state of Palestine by saying this. Uh, and I'm very glad that our, our two countries work so closely together um, and uh, have had success stories with education and uh, uh, relief uh, work in the past. So a long way that continue. And um, uh, my sentiments are the same as yours in, in hoping that there's a, a lasting peace for the region. On top of that, Prince William's official itinerary lists holy sites in Jerusalem as part of the occupied Palestinian territories. A gesture made clear by the fact that Prince William apparently refused to meet with Jerusalem's mayor, Nir Balkat. The United Kingdom may feel that such a meeting would have been a symbolic acceptance of Israel's claim to Jerusalem, which both Israel and the Palestinians see as their capital. Politics aside, though, it's hard to overstate just how thrilled people were to see a real-life actual prince in their midst. Hopefully, it won't be too long before the region gets another royal visitor.